Mastering your freezes can help you with anything that you do, including footwork. So take your freezes from good to great today at the notice drop. Focus, focus. Hey, welcome to the Knowledge Drop, a focus of the Flow Mode crew, BeepoDojo.com and Cypher Studio Helsinki, Finland. Let's work on freezes today. Once you master freezes on different levels and different techniques, that can help you with so many other things. So breaking is all, it's all one, guys. So there's no, I'm a foot worker, I'm a top rock head. None of that. The more versatile you become, the more all the other aspects of the dance develop as well. Mastering your freezes with different approaches, different techniques can help you with everything else that you do in the dance as well. Breaking is one, guys. All elements of the dance are relevant. Everything affects everything. Mastering freezes will truly teach you how to stop at any different element of the dance too. And this will add a whole new level of dynamic into your flow. And besides this, the exercises that we do today will teach you body control and timing. And that's of course is crucial when it, when it comes to the dance. We'll start with baby freezes today. Apply any freezes that you know into the techniques that we learned today. Let's go! Now, of course, you have to know your baby freeze first. If you don't know your baby freezes yet, then go and see any tutorial on YouTube and come back here after that. Now, when you get it, of course, you learn it both ways next. Once you have it both ways, learn how to switch from the side to another one. So from your basic baby, come back to the center and switch. Boom, boom. Like you saw, I lost my sense of direction over there. And in a battle, you freeze towards your opponent. Now, how do we fix it then? Well, let's make it turn 180 while we'll switch. So if I start over here, come to the center, and rotate. Damn, I don't remember who taught this to me, but I do remember that he or she learned it from quick step. It's an excellent exercise. So what I do, I release my elbow from under my knee, push with the free arm, switch, and then grab and pull with the opposite arm. Let's take it slow. So for my freeze, I release the elbow, push, switch, and pull. So push and pull. And I have my head in the ground, sliding throughout the whole circle. Now keep an eye contact to the person you're battling, the mirror, or whatever it is, a drinking bottle, whatever it is. Do not lose concentration and focus. Yeah. Next up, the essential tool number two is the front sweep to your freeze. Should go without saying, but the sweeping leg does not touch the ground while you sweep. It's a crucial drill to master on both sides. Helps you with everything, with your power, with your footwork, all of that. So master this before you move on to anything else. And once you master it both ways, make it flow. So start from your front stance, do your sweeps and come back to where you started from and then do the opposite direction. Check it out. Jump over into the freeze, return to back where you started from. Back to your front stance, we sweep the other direction. Sweep and return. Switch. When I return from a freeze, it's like rewinding the motion completely. So check it out one more time slow before you get to rock it yourself. Freeze, rotate straight to the front, switch up, flow the other direction. You see? Essential drill number three is windmill to freeze. Keep your legs up, they're not touching the ground guys, come on. Learn that first, and once you have it, make a full circle of windmill and catch it with your freeze. And once you have that one, you can catch any power combo and end it in a freeze wherever you want. And of course, folks, we don't want to be limited to one side only. The previous drills, we did both directions with all the freezes. So can you do this one both directions as well? No exceptions, folks. Go back to the basics every single day. Now when those are out the way, it's time to connect your freezes to the music. Rock a freestyle round and freeze on every single one count. And if possible, switch the side on every single one.
Now when that's done, learn to use these techniques and change the freeze every single one. How many different freezes you have in your arsenal? Post your rounds with the hashtag bboydojo. And next up, join my free footwork workshop at bboydojo.com. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you over there, y'all. Peace!